Scientists are calling them the dirty dozen. 12 invasive plant species destroying trees, yards, parks, and waterways. Long Island environmentalists uh, showed CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan how to spot and eradicate them. A lot of people are starting to actually care. Care about saving land and water for future generations. Biologist Frank Piccinini and Long Island Conservancy members are documenting trouble and sounding the alarm. You don't have to learn how to ID identify all the plants. You just have to learn to identify the bad guys. Snuff them out where it starts, which is in your yard. The iconic Sands Point Nature Preserve, 216 acres of majestic beauty, is feeling the wrath of invasive Land species. Naturalists are naming the dirty dozen that kill off native plants and wildlife. Long Island is losing a battle. It doesn't even know it's fighting. Already silent invaders of ponds, streams, harbors, the sound, and ocean. Weeds like parrot feather and algal blooms that deplete oxygen are continuing to spread. Waterways abut land vulnerable to choking plants. The tree of heaven is the uh, is the host plant. For the spotted lanternfly. Just yards from where we stood, the spotted lanternfly, poised to move east to destroy wineries and farm fields, was squashed. The tree of heaven uprooted. It takes neighbor cooperation because if I have a porcelain berry growing in my yard, the birds can come and eat it and then they will spread it. Councilwoman Lurvy shows us plant and wildlife apps to be downloaded, identifying dangers. It takes community cooperation and goals. Rewind Wild, a patch of your lawn with plants, grow vegetables, creating a monarch butterfly bird-friendly habitat. We connect with nature. It's um, it changed my life. Honestly, I, I can't look at the world the same way. From the Sands Point Preserve on Nassau's Gold Coast, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.